You too, thank you. Oh my gosh! We got money! We got dollar dollar bills, y'all! Benjamin's up in the oh my house. God. This is maybe the most amount of money I've ever held in my entire life. It's the movies, yo! Woo! We're finally making it rain! <laughs> Well, it's Dude. very satisfying. Screw an RV, let's yeah. go to the club. This is the part they never show in the music videos, <laughs> the cleanup. Most important thing to remember after making it rain, sanitize. <laughs> Good morning, adventurers. Hello. How do you like our new masks? We got them, or we ordered the fun ones. Hers is a lot funner than mine, but. So if you've been keeping up with our videos, we've been isolating up in St. Louis. We're in Missouri right now, but we've been up there for about, yeah, we can remove these. The bit's over. <laughs> but what I was saying was we spent the last two months isolating ourselves up in St. Louis just to be as careful as possible. Missouri was still under its stay at home order at the time, which has now been lifted. Yes, yeah, so we moved down in with um, my parents finally in southern Missouri. They're in a very small town in the middle of nowhere so we get to walk around the neighborhood and get some exercise and we yeah. don't really see anybody. We just go to the store or I go to the store once a week yeah. for the family. But at least we're able to see her family now which is nice. Yeah. It's get a nice. little bit of social interaction. Yeah. A lot of you guys have been asking what the heck we're gonna be doing now that travel kind of isn't a thing for the foreseeable future. Who knows how long it's gonna be. I don't know. We've been racking our brains. It's been some days very sad and depressing other yeah. days you know we come up with ideas and are trying to stay hopeful but I think we have maybe sorted it at least for the moment yeah we have an idea you guys know we've always wanted to get an RV and specifically a vintage one and restore it but we've never had the time to do it we've always been traveling we don't really have a place to work on it or when we do find them it's a big old bust if you guys remember, we went to look at an RV with cash in hand to buy it once, and that did not work out so well. You look like a natural. Right. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels wild. <laughs> I was putting all my strength into it, and it was just not picking up the speed. But today is a new day. The world has changed drastically since then, and we have a lot of time on our hands now. So we're going to go buy an RV today, I think. Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But we figure since the entire world is on lockdown, Maybe we could get away with going to some parks or driving around yeah. on our new little RV. But in the meantime, we're gonna buy it, we're gonna try to update it and do a little work on it and get it up to snuff for some upcoming adventures. But it has been an ordeal. We've been looking at RV after RV and just when we're about to pull the trigger on one, someone else buys it out from under us. Cause I think a lot of people have the same idea. They're thinking, well, we can't travel, but we'll probably be able to drive around in an RV. So everyone's buying RVs right now, I guess. <laughs> we're feeling confident. We're driving to Kansas City, which is six hours from where we're staying mm -hmm. in hopes of buying this lovely little leprechaun. So it's this 1975 orange beauty. The body is an incredible condition. <laughs> Apparently it still runs very well. It only has 69,000 miles on it. so. Fingers crossed, everything works out. But we are on our way there. We're gonna have about a five and a half, six hour journey. And then we're gonna meet the guy and hopefully buy ourselves a 1975 RV. The road, the road is calling. We're on I the feel road. like I always have to have some epic thing to say when we- no, We're on the road. We're on going. The road. We're, go we're going. We're just down the road from the guy's house and we just pulled into a gas station. I texted him that we're a minute away and he was like, oh, just going to get gas. And then we just saw him drive by Hello and man. it looks tote to door, but it sounded awesome. It was like, <laughs> just flying down the road. <laughs> Cute and loud little guy. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm so nervous about this. Yeah, We've got about a minute and then we'll be there and we're gonna go check it out, test drive it. All right, we're at the guy's house. He's just pulled up after getting gas, I guess. Oh we're gonna gosh. go check it out. I told him I was gonna be filming, but he said, don't film me or don't film the house. So there's not really too much we'll be able to film out there, so but. we might pick up in a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. First look at the inside. What are you thinking? It's so cute. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's so much cuter than I thought it was gonna yeah, be. Yeah, I mean, for a 75, it's in yeah. very good condition. So they uh, kind of custom did all this stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, they said everything's original, but they I guess they redid the uh, the fabric. This wallpaper, my grandma used to have some like this in her kitchen. This yeah. is awesome. It, this is the kind of thing that it's gonna be a shame to redo. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll keep some little yeah. touches we'll here and there, some little Easter eggs. Oh my word. So this is the captain's chair over here. Very retro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah check that thing out. <laughs> Automatic three speed, baby. All right, test drive time. Captain's chair. <clears throat> as soon as I find the uh, ignition. <laughs> Step one, find the ignition. <laughs> All right. Cool. 
Well, we did it. We did it. We, we bought it. We bought it. <laughs> ah, I don't, it doesn't feel real and I'm still, I'm more nervous now than I was when we showed yeah, up. Yeah, me too. Because you <laughs> never know nervous. if you're making a big mistake. But I don't know, but <laughs> it's so cool. We're really excited. And now I have to drive it over to the hotel we're going to be staying at, so. See y'all. Thank you. All right, you guys, we are off. <laughs> I am driving this big rig. <laughs> Luckily, it's actually not that big. We'll have to give you guys a better look at it later after we get all settled in and get parked. It's a little chaotic because you got to worry about the paperwork and all his neighbors came over and they were like, oh my God, you're finally selling it. Woo, yeah. Listen to that baby purr. <laughs> this is actually terrifying. <laughs> I really got to get used to this thing. Oh man, we made it. <laughs> we made it to the hotel, you guys. Ah! First drive of success. Oh my God. This thing drives like a champ. I gotta say, I am impressed. And I feel like the king of the road out there. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I couldn't, I was just like smiling ear to ear the whole way, seeing him in my rear view mirror. This thing is just so cool. Now I'm just trying to figure out where the hell to park it at this hotel. Yeah. <laughs> we got a bunch of geese over here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Look at them all. A proper gaggle of them. Your first obstacle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Goodbye for the night, little coachman leprechaun. By the way, you guys will have to let us know what you think we should name it. We have no idea. I think it needs to just be like a woman's name, right? That's the classic way to do it. It seems like an old gal, right? Yeah. Let us know. What do you think this should be named? <laughs> what does it look like? We're all checked in. Got ourselves one of the only things that was still open to oh be delivered, gosh. and that is Chipotle. <laughs> you guys, it's like 9.30, and we had that Panera at noon, and it was not that <laughs> filling, oh my no. god. And then we've been so like nervous, anxious, excited, excited, so many emotions. I feel like we're both just so drained. Like I could be asleep right now, but I'm also so hungry that oh, I'm yeah. gonna eat this first. <laughs> And of course, we could have slept in the camper. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why we didn't. But we would have had to find a place where we could legally sleep in it. And we didn't have any bedding or anything like that. Yeah, we just didn't know what it was going to be like. If it would be that comfy and like it would be that safe for our first night. So we're just going to ease into the RV life. We'll stay in our hotel room. We'll eat our meal in here, watch our TVs, and then... We'll start sorting the RV tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be kind of a big day because the front two tires have a little bit of rot on them. So we really have to change those before we do the five hour drive back down south to mm -hmm. Southern Missouri. We also have to get temporary registration, which has been a whole hassle, but we figured out a way that we think we can do it if the place is open tomorrow. Yeah. And if it's not, we're just gonna have to drive without plates and hope that the cops oh, yeah. don't get pissed. If you don't, if you guys haven't been with the channel long, we're actually Texas residents. So we're buying the RV in Missouri, but we need it registered in Texas. So it's this big whole ordeal. Yeah. We'll explain more of that later, but yeah. you guys will get the gist of it. We're going to eat our Chipotle. We've got Mad Max on TV back here <laughs> playing. <laughs> and then I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Do a transit transition. Transition. Cool transition. I'm too hungry. Just get it out of here. Good morning, you guys. We've got a little bit of frustration this morning with these tires. So apparently this is a 16.5, which is 16 and a half inches. That hasn't been made for a very long time. So no one in town can service that. I did call and find one place that can, potentially they think they found a tire that can go on this, that's 16.5 inches. I don't know that much about tires, you guys. So I'm just kind of working with these guys, trying to figure it out. It's all been quite difficult. But we're in kind of a predicament because this is not legal to drive because there are no plates on it. So. Theoretically, just with the title and I have insurance on it and the bill of sale, I should be able to go and get a temporary tag at the DMV, which is where we're going to head now. Yay, DMV on a Saturday! Yeah. We're going to get this figured out, you guys, or we're just going to light this thing on fire. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. So it turns out there are license bureaus all over Kansas City, and uh, most of them are closed, but some of them are open. We found one that's open till one, which is 30 minutes from now. So we're just under the wire, but that's basically how they're doing it. Everyone waits out in their car. You join some wait list online and they text you when you need to come in. Then you have two minutes to run from here to the building. <laughs> yeah, and only one person from your party can come in at a time because they can't have more than 10 people in the building. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, we should get our yep. temporary tag. You got the title, got the bill of sale. Keep that information down. <laughs> got my face mask. Yep. <laughs> Technically, I have insurance that I got at the last minute. I don't have an ID card for it, but I have some other thing that they said should work. So we'll keep you posted. They should be letting us, calling us to go in anytime. Little update. Things are not going 
as planned. I'm a little frustrated. Mm. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I had called the DMV and to get a temporary tag for an out of state person just to drive it through the state, they said I don't need to bring a vehicle inspection. Of course, I get there and they say, oh, you gotta have a vehicle inspection. And of course, they're very rude about it as is the case at pretty much any DMV yeah. across the so, country. Because it's Saturday, DMV is officially closed. We can get the inspection but then we can't get the tags, but also we're still trying to figure out the tire situation. Yeah, I'm looking into replacing all the wheels all together on the damn thing now. <laughs> yeah, so Ugh. I don't know. Ah, it's turning into a headache. We're gonna get there, guys, all right? I'm remaining hopeful in spite of my anger. At the very least, I'm gonna take this thing to get it inspected. I find a, found a place, the one place in town that will inspect an RV. I'm gonna take it there now, and we'll see what happens. So we are getting this day sorted, slowly but surely. So we found one place that uh, is a Ford dealership, but they do RVs. It's basically the only place in town that would work with these wheels. We wanted a, a quote to just replace all of these wheels, not just the tires, but the wheels on the inside. And it's actually something we were gonna do eventually down the road anyway, but it's gonna be a very high upfront cost. So I'm dreading the moment when they call me and tell me the quote for that. There's also the alternative. They did find some tires they can put on the front here, but the thing is, down the road, you're going to be dealing with those half-sized tires, and it's not something you want to deal with for the life no, of the No, they said RV. if we ever had a blowout that like basically, oh yeah, basically they couldn't help us if we had a blowout. They wouldn't have a tire for us. Yeah, exactly. So our goal was to update this thing and modernize it, and apparently the first step is redoing the entire set of wheels. <laughs> <laughs> we want this whole video to take you through this whole process of just getting this thing home. So we're going to pause this, and then we're going to reconvene when we hear back from the dealer. <laughs> so we'll see you there. Good morning, y'all. It is now Monday. We stayed one night at Allison's sister's and then we drove back up to Kansas City and we stayed in a hotel for the night. And it wasn't the best night. A bunch of people were smoking pot and setting off the smoke alarm. It was quite an ordeal, yeah. but we, we managed to get some sleep, so that's good. And good news, the RV is ready. Woo! They called me with a quote to change all those wheels and it was like 3,200 bucks. It was a, about $1,000 cheaper to just change all the tires to the 16.5 inch ones that they found. So that's what we decided to do. Yep, we got our nice little tune up. We got the tires changed. Everything's looking good. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go pick her up and slowly hit the road. <laughs> there she is, good as new. Well, really? not, not really good as new, but no. you get it. <laughs> it's beautiful and she sounds just like I remember. These are the new tires they popped on there. I do feel like it's a little bit underinflated, but eh. Yeah, I mean, they did it yeah. for us, but yeah, the tires look good. They had to change out. We had a blinker out and some fluids low. Yeah, we had them do a little checkup and they said everything's running good and looking good. So we got about a five hour drive from here. So yeah. hopefully they did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Allison's driving for the first time. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Give it a little bit of gas. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's like driving a school bus from the 70s. <laughs> when you're driving, it feels like you're huge, but yeah. you're actually, it's not a big vehicle. Very nimble. We're on the road, and so far, so good. It's a little loud, though. <laughs> but it actually drives pretty well, I'm surprised. And the previous owner installed cruise control. So at least I don't have to keep my foot on the pedal, which is nice, but yeah, no issues yet. So far, so good. We made a little gas stop and we've been having a little trouble because it's been filling up and then turning itself off here. So we assumed it was full, but it was only putting like 10 gallons in the tank or so. And then the gas was running out real quick, but the gauge said there was more than there was in there. So I don't know if the gauge is broken, but now it's going well past 24 gallons. Okay, I decided to stop it at 40 because I don't know if it's just not turning itself off or... The gauge is broken. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I don't want to chance it. 27 and a half gallons, though. That's a pretty big old tank. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> First road trip done, y'all. Success. It didn't overheat. Eric didn't wreck it. Yeah. It didn't run out of gas. It doesn't sound the greatest, but it sure moves. <laughs> I made Allison get out and... Hold the camera while I pulled up. <laughs> it's like the grossest day ever. It's yeah, May, it's but it's actually horrible. freezing and raining. I think we're going to end this exhausting <laughs> video here. This ended up being a much longer ordeal than we ever intended it to be. Yeah. But uh, it's part of the adventure, right? It was a lot of fun. And I mean, we're gonna have lots of lots of adventures in it. So we're pretty dang excited. Yeah. Sadly, it'll be raining for the next few days. So I don't think we're gonna do much work yeah. on her for a little bit. But as soon as the sun comes out, we are gonna take you guys on a proper tour of the inside and outside of this beauty. 
All right, goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road, for real this time. <laughs>